Hello everybody, every man, every woman, every mother, it's Mother's Day and that's why I have this Pepe image uh, today, whatever. Uh, I added a script and updated this Budlime repository that I have on my personal uh, GitHub uh, thing, it's not on the Budlabs organization because I feel this is more personal thing, whatever, who cares. Uh, but I added uh, a script this Subble says here and I know people they don't really don't like Sublime and when I make Sublime videos but whatever I use Sublime and sometimes I do things here and whatever and this script is uh, I don't think anyone will will use this really because what it does is it removes unwanted windows from the session.sublime underscore session file I love Sublime's uh, naming conventions for, for their files uh, uh, useful only if one has issues with multiple unwanted windows are created well this is bad English are created when the sublime session starts. I will fix this. Um, and what this means, uh, I will probably give a, a good meme title to this video because I just watched uh, uh, DistroTube here made a <laughs> how to exit Vim video and it, th this video was great, really really good, uh, uh, funny, wholesome uh, video. Highly recommend. We'll link it in the show notes. Um, so I will probably call this video how to exit uh, uh, Sublime. But really it's about how to launch Sublime uh, successfully. So let me show you how the issue really uh, that I solve with this script. And I, I, I don't know why I haven't done this earlier because this is something that has happened to me many, 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 many times. Many times a week actually. It's, it's kind of embarrassing when I think about it. So, this is a Sublime window. I usually have this uh, window uh, and this Sublime uh, project here just to, to make notes and lists and stuff like this, you know, to-do lists. I mostly use it for that. Sometimes I open like a file temporary here if I need two uh, files open at the same time. So, uh, and I never ever use uh, the built-in window splitting functions that, that uh, is available in Sublime. Instead I use multiple windows, actual windows, and let i3 uh, handle it so I can tile them and tab them and whatever, you know. Um, but the problem was, I have to disable this function now. Uh, so I think I have to do this, this, and then we just comment this line out. Because when you have multiple windows here, and this is the reason why this is only like, uh, not many people will find this useful. Because what I do, I have this script sublaunch. So every time I, I start Sublime, I, I, I start it with this script, which you can see is uh, quite complicated. I think I have made videos about this in, in the past. Uh, but what it does, it uh, uh, renames the instance here we can see the instance for this sublime window is sublime underscore main and we can see this is sublime underscore note and this is just so I can have different window rules uh, and uh, different key bindings and, and things like that let's see if I have there now super shift s it always activates this uh, sublime project note and super s uh, activates the main and here, here you can see how these things are uh, connected <clears throat> the problem though is that when when you close sublime and have multiple windows open and you close all the windows at the same time this happens close them now no sublime windows are open I hit super s should execute sublime and now you can see weird stuff seem to have happened here uh, it looks like uh, it should, you know, it opened my sublime window, but look at this now, if I, if I hit super F, which is start Vivaldi, now Vivaldi window is active, but I cannot see my Vivaldi window, why is that? It's because I have a floating sublime window at the exact location, you know, where 
that the last winner was. This happens happened all the time for me. And the reason for this is that when you start Sublime, uh, after you have closed Sublime with multiple windows open, it will open both of those windows kind of at the same time. So here it actually opened this uh, notes window, but it renamed the instance name with my sublaunch script and everything. It, it renamed uh, that window to the main window uh, and put that in the correct container. And this window, uh, sublaunch didn't really know what to do with this extra window, so it, it didn't rename. This is the original instance name, so that's why I got a floating window of the main, it, it, it's like, it, it's just a big mess. And it's it's me who have put myself in, in, in this situation as usual, you know. Uh, and the way I always do this, when this has happened in, in, in the past, up until like an hour ago, was that uh, you have to close the windows in, in the correct order here. If, if uh, First you close this window, and then you close this, because this is what you want as your main window. And now I hit sub launch again, and then it will only uh, launch uh, one window because only one window was present when the last session ended, kind of, you know. And then it renames the instance name and put it in the correct container. Now everything works properly. But yeah, this, th this is an issue I have been having for years, and I have kind of known how to fix it because this uh, session is stored in this. Uh, session dot sublime under whatever it's so stupid file name so god damn it but in this session file this is where sublime uh, looks for uh, uh, yeah how, how the previous session looked like and it have this entry called windows which contains a list and and now it only have one window here uh, but if it would have uh, if more windows would be present when the last session ended because this file is only updated when you stop uh, uh, a session meaning closing the last window or closing all windows and then this entry here contains all uh, uh, those uh, open windows and what my new script here subble says does here is that you can uh, set this variable variable bad project i have set it to not because not is the name of uh, uh, my project here this is the window title and we can see not is in parentheses here uh, this uh, here the project is budline and i have like one billion projects here in sublime uh, but i always uh, have the note project in this extra window. I never change project here, I only change project here. So, um, what I do here is you set the bad project name, the, the window that you want to remove from the session kind of. And then it uh, I use awk to make a dirty parsing of this uh, uh, sublime session JSON file here, and then just remove that uh, uh, from, from that key and then uh, save save that the new file without the bad project window in the window list. And then when that is uh, 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 done, Sublime will will uh, launch with, without that window. And the thing is, I, I I found it most convenient to just add that to this sublaunch script here, like this. But I added it like this. Uh, uh, command so, so it tests that this command subble says is in the path path uh, if it is then it executes that command before it creates a new sublime instance and and with all of this present then it, it kind of works here for me and it should work uh, if you would uh, use my budline stuff here and use using sub sub launch if you clone this repo and everything it should work for you too uh, because it uh, if you don't have this subblesses in your path, uh, you have to install it manually. Uh, but it is here in, in the scripts directory. Uh, I guess I should add the info here as well. So, so it shouldn't create any problem. Of course, it make, makes like launching Sublime 
a little bit uh, slower. Uh, the Subble says command itself, uh, it, it's, um, it's quite fast, it's, it, it doesn't matter in my opinion here. Yeah, about 16 to 20 milliseconds, or 16, 15 to 30. That's not a long time, uh, since you are already starting a new uh, window and stuff, it, 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 it takes about uh, 800 milliseconds to create a new Sublime window and resize it and everything here, so, so this is nothing in, in the whole picture, so to speak. Um, and this testing for the existence of the command, that's also, so, so that is what people using this program will have to pay here now. It's uh, about 10 milliseconds or something, maybe even less. But this will make my life so much better. It will never happen again now that uh, multiple windows opens like that and man, it feels so good. So that's how you uh, uh, launch Sublime successfully. Because it's not really about exiting uh, Sublime. I'm not sure if it is a way, if there is a, a way to hook this up to when you close Sublime instead, or maybe it's even possible to to create some Python uh, module or something in Sublime that does this automatically or whatever. I, I don't know. I know Bash, I know Awk, I know how to solve it in those uh, with those tools, so I did. Uh, but there are probably other better ways to do this. And also parsing JSON with Awk, it's, it, it, that's a dirty business. It's, uh, uh, this would be much uh, smoother if I knew how to use JQ, but whatever. Thank you for watching everybody. Have a great day. Uh, don't forget to call your mother. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye bye.